I was one of the first participants in the Project Turn class. They came into RCCW, Raleigh Correctional Center for Women, and it was an extraordinary opportunity for people that were incarcerated to partner with Duke Divinity Master's class students in one setting to do some writing and reading. Very intensive to get in, in terms of the application. It was a, it was a lengthy application process to begin with, and being that it was a pilot program, it was very hard to get in. So those of us that were allowed in were very lucky. At the time, I was um, in the midst of a four-year stop at RCCW, and it was my last two years, so I actually was in the class for two years, two times. During our class, being that it was pilot, a lot of special things happened. One, we were on Frank Stacio's radio program. He actually came into the prison and did the radio show with the Duke Divinity students, as well as the um, participants from RCCW. The fruit of the class, which is writing, um, spiritual autobiography, as well as reading um, various memoirs and spiritual autobiographies from Chuck Colson to Ann Lott to the slave narratives. The reading was exceptional, and which brought about incredible writings, very honest writing. And because of that, subsequently, we were able to be the group that published a book, and it is Child Be Still, Spiritual Memoirs of a Secret Sisterhood and um, the woman of the 2009 Spiritual Autobiography class. It's an amazing collective work of the women that were incarcerated um, that they produced during this time. Project Turn has given me the knowledge of self that I can write, that I do have a message and it's a, it's a cohesive message and that it's uh, a message that is powerful. So Project Turn gave me the confidence to continue writing and then to segue into other things. One thing I'm doing is oninmate.com, and that's O-N-I-N-M-A-T, oninmate.com. And I try to spell it so people can really grasp what it means. Um, it is a site to help those that are incarcerated transition back home, and those that are felons in our community be more successful. So project, um, well, number one, I wrote all of the articles and content on the site. Couldn't have done it without Project Turn and getting that experience with the professors helping you with the grammar and structuring and how to put things in a specific order and so forth. I will also say that it's a program that should be in every prison. I think that it will bring about self-awareness. If you don't have that self-awareness yet, participating in Project Turn will let you see who you really are inside through your writings. Two things about taking the class. First and foremost, you're meeting a great group of people that nine, nine times out of ten, if you really participate fully, they remain part of your circle. I have been home for four years now. Still very good friends with all the professors, um, several of the, the, my classmates, as well as um, one or two of the Duke students I've heard from over the years. So it, it gave a connection that, that lasted. We were in there not just writing and reading and grading papers, we were sharing like the essence of our life. And I think the most important thing about Project Turn is if you don't really have a good visual of who you are, if you never really looked at who you are, when you begin to write your memoir, or begin to write spiritual autobiography, it brings a lot of questions about you to yourself. You're saying, hey, I did that. Well, who was I then, or what was I thinking, or... So it, it brings such self-awareness, which I think is the biggest fruit of, of doing something like Project Turn.